Hello, everybody. Uh, thanks for joining us today for our uh, signature capture and image capture uh, training, our Tracer Plus training. Uh, my name is Howie Heckman. I'm one of the developers here at PTS. And I'll be walking you through a little bit about setting up uh, these, these features of the software, uh, both image capture, signature capture, and then getting that back to a back-end database. Uh, so hopefully by the end of the webinar today, you'll be able to add on to some existing uh, Tracer Plus projects that you may already have configured, or maybe just create new ones uh, with these new features to kind of expand your mobile uh, data collection processes. Okay, so um, I'm actually going to go ahead and jump into uh, a project that I had configured uh, before the webinar here that kind of incorporates some of the features of uh, that we're going to talk about signature capture image capture and how those get added to your project and then connect it up to a, to a back-end database so I'm actually going to jump over to uh, tracer plus desktop and the application I'm going to be walking through here is uh, a vehicle delivery application and really what it's going to do is uh, when a a vehicle is transported, let's say, across the country. Uh, when it is delivered, you can go ahead and collect a signature of the vehicle that it was dropped off and also collect a, um, an image of the condition of the car. So if there is any kind of damage or anything that uh, needs to be reviewed or um, just taken to, just taken the condition of the car, that can be taken on the mobile form and then sent back to a, a pre-existing database. So I have here a pre-configured project called Vehicle Inspection, and I have um, actually Vehicle Delivery, and I have one form that's added to this project called Vehicle Inspection. So I'm going to actually jump over to the Vehicle Inspection form here, and I'm going to show you uh, down in the Field Settings area is where I've added these Image and Signature Capture fields. So you can see the, uh, the form, it collects uh, different information about the, the recipient of the vehicle, as well as some information about the vehicle, the make, model, VIN number. Uh, and then on the bottom couple fields here, you'll see there's a shipping signature, so the, the, I guess the driver in this case, uh, as well as the the delivery driver, as well as the person that's actually receiving the vehicle in this driver signature field here. And then we have a, a photo field for actually taking a picture to take a, the condition of the car. Um, so to set these up as signature and image uh, capture fields, all you really have to do is add them to your project, uh, name them as, as you need it, and then from the field type dropdown, just switch their their field types to a signature for signature fields and then for the photo you just want to change that to an image field okay so once you do that you actually have the fields uh, already configured within tracer plus to begin collecting that information so once you jump over to the form designer and actually build your form so you can see here I, I kind of built a pre-configured vehicle inspection form uh, on the first field I just have the text fields for collecting some of the recipients information uh, name address and so on and then I have a, a uh, tab for collecting vehicle information, year, make, model, and so on. Uh, I have just one simple form here, uh, simple field here is for a drop down to switch uh, which make you're uh, selecting. And then on the last tab, you'll actually see the fields for collecting the features that we're talking about today, which are the two signatures as well as the uh, image capture field. Now when you switch a field to a, a, an image, when you build the form, it go ahead, it, it actually switches the field that's drawn as to a button rather than the text field. So you can see that you'd click this to actually take the picture. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is actually just go ahead and deploy this down to the device so you can see what it looks like. Uh, to do that, I'm just going to go to the uh, Tools Build Deploy, push this down to the mobile device, um, and now this is going to be uh, taking this, this application pushing everything down, uh, loading Tracer Plus, and then we're ready to go ahead and do the uh, signature capture on the device. So I'm going to go ahead and actually bring up the uh, mobile device here. Now I'm sharing a, a screen of a mobile device that has a camera available as well as a Wi-Fi card cards to uh, send the data. So I'm going to go ahead and open up Tracer Plus, and you can see the form that's deployed looks similar to what we have in Tracer Plus desktop. Okay, so we have the information for collecting uh, the, the recipient's information, the vehicle information here, and then finally the, on the last form, the actual uh, feature that we're talking about, the signature capture, as well as a button for taking pictures. So right now I have this set up in a batch mode. It's actually uh, going to save everything locally on the device, and I'll, I just wanted to show you how those images are then stored when the device isn't hooked up to any type of back-end database. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is actually just fill out this form real quick. 
uh, to a, just some uh, random recipient. Um, let's just say it's going to John Smith, uh, to any town USA, state, NY, and a zip code. Okay, so I'm just filling out this form as we normally would. Uh, let's just pick a vehicle here. I did set up the make to be a drop down. You probably also want to add some power into this uh, to uh, set up the models as a drop down. You could do a filter drop down so it selects only, say, Chevy, Chevy vehicles from the drop down here. Um, for the uh, VIN number, I'm going to just type in uh, some VIN number here. And finally, the plate. I'll go ahead and add something for our plate number. Okay, so once I'm done with that, I'm going to jump over to it, the tab where I'm actually collecting these signatures and taking the picture. And I'm going to bring up, uh, if I tap into one of these fields, it brings up a, a dialog for collecting the signature. So this first uh, uh, signature here is for the actual driver that's dropping the vehicle off. So I'm just going to sign a name here. Okay, once I do that, it jumps into the next field for the driver's signature. I'll go ahead and collect that. I believe I called him John Smith. Okay, I'm just signing for it here. Uh, once I'm done, I can go ahead and take the picture just as a verification of the vehicle and its condition. You, you could add additional pictures to the form, so maybe you can take it from different angles uh, and, and really uh, maybe if you, if you wanted to take pictures of anything like damage to the vehicle, you could do that. So I'm just going to tap on the, the button. You'll see it brings up the image review dialog, and since we haven't taken a picture yet, uh, it says no image exists there. But I'm going to go ahead and load the camera. Uh, this might be a little bit slow for everybody. I'm not sure I'm sharing the screen through the PDA. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just take a picture of this vehicle. Okay, and you can see this one, there's no damage. Uh, so I'll take the picture. At this point, you could go ahead and review it if you wanted to. I'm just going to hit OK on the bottom right. Okay, that'll, that's now going to save it to our Tracer Plus field that we configured in Tracer Plus Desktop. Okay, I'll just hit Done. Once I'm finished, the form's all filled out, I can just go ahead now and I'm going to click the Submit button on the bottom to save this information. Okay, so that, uh, just, just to note, it went, it went batch, it's saved locally on the device uh, so that we can review it or we can do what we need to uh, with it later on. So I'm going to actually show you where that information goes. So now it's saved within the Tracer Plus uh, table here. I'm going to go to, a, to File, Export Data. Okay, once the export's complete, it'll tell you where the, uh, the file was exported. And now you can actually go ahead and take a look at that. So what I'm going to do is jump over to our device. And it goes into the My Documents Tracer Plus 6 Data and then Exported folder. Okay, so right here you can see this, is the, this text file is actually the text file of all of the information we just filled out on the form. And then in this bin folder here, these are the two signatures and images that we collected using the form. Uh, so if I were to open one of these up, you can go ahead and you can see the, the uh, picture of the vehicle. Okay, or if you wanted to see the signature here, you can see the signatures for the two uh, people that signed this form. If I go back to the text file, this is the actual data that we filled out on the form. And you can see here that uh, it's John Smith, where it was delivered, and so on. And then when you get to one of these signature fields, you can see this long file name. Uh, this one here, this bitmap, happens to be one of the signatures. So if you want to go ahead and reference the signature that was taken with this data on the form, you would take a look at this file name here, this long file name, and then jump over to the bin folder and you can take a look at that, that file uh, as, a, as a bitmap image. Okay. So that's kind of how it runs in batch mode. Um, you're just switching your field types to signature, switching them to image as you need them. When you do a file export, it's creating the text file of all the data that you filled out on the form, but then it's also creating the images and uh, for both the signature and the, uh, the pictures that you've taken in the images or the bin subfolder so that you can reference those files versus what was collected on the form. Okay, but for this demo, I want to make that a little bit, this a little bit more interesting uh, so that we're not looking at a long file name to try to find that. I'm actually going to turn this, uh, connect this form that we've created to a uh, MySQL database and then have a web page that displays that information uh, so that maybe the customer can review it if they needed to uh, or, or just, just a nicely laid out report of, of the actual delivery. Okay, so to do that, what I'm going to actually do is go back to our Tracer Plus desktop project. OK, 
Okay, let me minimize this here. And the only thing I really want to do to make this wireless is jump into the wireless settings of our vehicle inspection form. And I already filled out the correct IP address and gave uh, this PDA a nickname. So all I'm going to do is go ahead and turn this on. Okay, I'll save my project. And now I'm going to go ahead and deploy it again to the, P to the mobile device. Okay, so while that's being deployed, I'm actually going to jump over to show you the database where this is going to be hooked up to. Um, so I have here a MySQL uh, database table. And all I really did was I just matched up the fields that I have on the form to the fields in this MySQL table. So if I jump to field settings, you can see I have name, address, and so on, down to the uh, shipping signature, driver signature, and photo. Um, and if I jump back over to the MySQL table, you can see I added each one of those fields to the MySQL table. Okay, and this could be something like a Microsoft Access table as well. Uh, and then down at the bottom here, I have uh, the shipper's signature, driver's signature, photo one, and I actually have a couple other in the t a couple others in the table uh, for the photo, but I I'm just using one for the for the uh, training webinar here. Okay, but you can see I changed their field type here to be a, a blob field type, and a blob field type in a database can really be used to store any type of binary data that you have. So it's it's typically images, could it, but it could be other things. Uh, for the case of this demo here, I'm going to actually be posting the images right to the database fields, so that I have. Uh, so I in my, for my web page later on, I can actually view those uh, images within the web page. So once I have the table complete, I actually want to just go ahead and, using our wireless server application, hook up our mobile form to that MySQL table. So I'm going to open up uh, Tracer Plus Wireless Server, and in order to hook up the form to the, the MySQL table, I'm going to jump to the ODBC Configuration tab. Okay, and since it was session one on the PDA that we were configuring, which was Vehicle Inspection, I'll go ahead and name it that just so you can see it. Okay, and then from this database drop-down, I'm selecting that MySQL uh, database that I had built. Then I'm selecting the photo demo table that I have, and you can see that was the same one that we have in this, this table here. It's called photo demo. Okay, and then once I'm done with that, I'm just map mapping the fields on the right-hand side. I'm saying that field one on the PDA, which was the name field, is going to the name field in my MySQL uh, database table. And then down here, you can see field 13, which was the photo, is going to marry up to the photo field in the MySQL database. So now when I fill out the form and post it, Wireless Server is going to grab that data that I filled out and post it into the MySQL database. Now I have one other um, little interesting thing for this demonstration, and I should bring it up on the uh, PowerPoint here. If you'd like to follow this, I actually have this posting to a real live database table right now, and I have a website that's uh, loading that information. So if you go to this web page here, tracerplus.com slash webinars slash image demo, you'll actually see the information post as I fill it out on the form. So this, I've turned, I'm, when you, when you see this here, I've turned this batch session that's exporting a text file into a wireless session that is now posting data from the, from the device over a wireless network, and then you guys can see it on the uh, website with that updated information. Okay, so once um, I deployed this project with the new wireless settings down to the mobile device, let me go ahead and open that mobile device again. Okay, now there was no real change to the form other than it, it's now wireless as opposed to batch. So when I go ahead and open this, you shouldn't notice uh, much of a change. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fill out this, this form. Let's say this time we're delivering the car to me. Okay. 10 Center Street. I don't know. Just fill out some random stuff here. Okay, Calverton, New York. Okay, so I'm filling out who the vehicle is being delivered to. I'm actually going to then go ahead and jump over to the fill out the vehicle information. So uh, this time it's a 2002 Ford. Uh, let's say it's a truck. Although I think my picture, oops, I think my picture is going to. Not going to fit this vehicle. I'll just pick a uh, a VIN number again. Now, normally, this would be scanned by the bar barcode, but I'm just typing it in, and then I'll pick another uh, uh, license plate number and enter that here. 
Finally, I'm going to go ahead and actually uh, collect the signature. And actually, while I'm doing that, let me bring it up in the background, that website. Okay, so this is the page. If everybody's there, uh, you should be able to see. Um, so on the mobile device now, I'm going to actually move this one. I'm going to sign for the ship for the the driver's signature. I'll do Bob again. Okay, and then the the signature for who's receiving this. So I'll sign it for myself. Howie H. Okay, and now I'm going to go ahead and take the picture just like I did before. Okay, so it's loading the camera, and you can see my vehicle didn't make it to me in, in working order. Okay, a little bit of damage there. I think I'm going to send that one back. Okay, but once I'm done, I'll take this, uh, hit OK to the, to the dialog. This, again, saves it back to our form. We can review it here if we wanted to and, and finish this. Now, um, I'm going to go ahead and hit submit to save this. And what you should notice in the background on my screen here, if you guys have it, that website should load uh, with the updated information uh, you can see here. It actually has a little script that detects that something was posted to the database. It refreshes the page. You can see the total count went up to one. Okay. Uh, but if you actually click on this, it does load the form in a nice, nicely laid out report with all of the information. So from everything that I filled out in the vehicle inspection form, you can see the signatures were applied to the different uh, signatures uh, as they were collected on the, on the uh, mobile device. You can see uh, the vehicle information that I filled out and this Ford F-150 pickup truck really got mangled. Uh, it doesn't look like much of a pickup truck any longer, but it's uh, it's been posted here for, so if somebody can review it. So the, the shipper or the uh, person that received the vehicle can come back and review this. Uh, now again, you can add to this, you can build more power into the application, but this should give you a good idea of how you can kind of uh, quickly create a, a, uh, a mobile application that includes some of these new feature or these features, signature capture, image capture, and push them out to a database. Um, Okay, so I will keep this website up here for, for a while longer uh, for people to take a look, look at uh, and how that, uh, those images can get transferred. And uh, if you can't get to it now, if you do open up an, a web page later on, take a look uh, and see how those images were posted there. But uh, again, thanks uh, for joining us today, everyone. Um, our contact information is here, uh, so please reach out to us. Uh, we always love everyone's feedback. And uh, I hope uh, this webinar was uh, very informational. And uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us.